Hey guys and gals, it's the Cannabis Crone. Uh, just a quick mini pot. I have a few things to remind you about. Number one, um, you have like a week left to comment to the Minnesota DNR about the Three Island Park Timber Harvest. Um, you can call in and they're taking opinions whether you think yay or nay. Hopefully nay. Uh, and if you want to know why, watch my last podcast um, about why we should not be doing these timber harvests anymore. If we are going to get do, you know, we're, we're moving towards like the Green New Deal philosophy. And if we're going to do that, then we might as well embrace the fact that we should not be doing timber harvests. Uh, we need the old trees around because they're the ones that take the most carbon out of the air. Again, watch my last podcast. I explain all about it. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to remind everybody about? I can't remember now. Um, oh, contact Governor Walls, number one. Um, and, and I did this the other day. Uh, I left two different voicemails for him about two different issues. The first one was line three. He needs to know how many people are against line three. And in fact, Enbridge should not be doing shit. They shouldn't be uh, removing one leaf from one little bush because the court cases have not all been heard yet. So um, I'm not sure what Walls is playing at, but please contact him and let him know, number one, we don't want line three, we don't want a replacement, and we need to transition away from fossil fuels. Uh, the second issue is legalizing cannabis. <clears throat> Excuse me. And for those of us that depend on it for our very health and welfare, uh, or well-being rather, well, health, welfare, and well-being, same thing, but for those of us that are counting on it, uh, we need to hurry him up. He needs to get together with normal. Um, the plan that that is already that they've already written is amazing. It's comprehensive and it's better than any of the other states' plans thus far. So um, let's just kind of move him along. Let him, let him know how many of us really, really. Um, are are for legalization, even if you don't smoke pot or utilize. Uh, it in any way, shape, or form, you should be still for it because, um, yeah, it <laughs> again, I have all kinds of podcasts that explain why, but uh, those are the three things. And then, um, little personal information, uh, on my transparency front, I'm actually, I wasn't going to do a podcast today because of my face. I don't know uh, if you can see, but I just have my, my skin is leathery and red. Uh, in places now it's affecting my eye it's from my lupus I'm having a flare-up again so uh, I just want to remind people if you are suffering from an autoimmune uh, disorder and you're having a flare-up try cannabis try getting yourself some uh, whole plant cannabis tincture uh, with the THC not just CBD oil because CBD oil is great but it, it does not um, you need the plant is the way it is for a reason, and so you need to utilize everything. The THC is a big component for healing, believe it or not. It's not just for getting you high or, you know, having fun. It actually is uh, really good um, for uh, anti-inflammatory reasons. It's good for uh, whole body uh, health and if you microdose with it, it's not going to get you messed up. A lot of people don't want to take it because they want to get high. But if you microdose on a daily basis, you build up your tolerance and then you don't get high and all you're doing is getting the medicine. So, um, and that's, I'm going to be trying RSO, I think within the next week or two here. And I'll let you know how that goes because um, the theory is that uh, an RSO is Rick Simpson oil. It's a very, very concentrated cannabis oil. But the theory is that if you use RSO and you use like a month long therapy with the RSO, you can reset your system, reboot it, uh, reboot your immune system uh, by utilizing your endocannabinoid system and getting it fed up and, and you know, getting it nice and energized so that it can kind of uh, reboot your immune system. So that's the theory anyway. And so we'll see. I'll see how that goes. Um, with lupus, I have the skin. I have the extreme eye sensitivity. Um, really, really bad. Um, there's your sores, 
in like your nasal passages and ear canals. That's another, uh, my, some of my symptoms anyway. Um, pain, it hurts to walk, it hurts to move. And so of course I'm out here walking and moving um, because, oh, I gotta show you this real quick. Dude. We're in the middle of a swamp, and he found a little hole that he dug and got to the water. So he's just sitting there drinking water. <laughs> um, I This is my third take because there were so many people around that I had to keep stopping and starting. So I just ended up walking out in the middle of a swamp, hoping I don't fall in. But uh, it's been so cold, I'm sure this thing is frozen solid, except for that little spot the dude got. Let's hope I don't step in anything like that. I have before. I've actually fallen in while we were hiking, and it's not, it sucks, because then you got to get back to the car before you freeze to death, and it's like, yeah, it's not great. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, also, smoke pot so you can move. Like, because that if, you, if you're smoking cannabis, it'll give you that instant, and then you can start moving around. You really should be exercising. If you have an autoimmune disorder and you're in pain right now, Exercise, exercise. It's so important because as soon as you stop moving, that's when you might as well throw in the towel. I know that if I hadn't been vigorously hiking and walking and trying to move all the time over the past two years, I might be in a wheelchair by now. That's how bad it's gotten sometimes, but I have continued to move and thank God for cannabis. Thank goddess for cannabis because it has helped me. So there's your short mini, mini pod. Um, contact the Minnesota DNR, uh, DJ Bakken to be exact, uh, about the three Island park harvest. No, we don't want it. Governor walls. We don't want line three and we do want legalization. And then again, Make sure you're getting plenty of rest, plenty of water, lots and lots of water, and cannabis, and exercise if you have lupus or RA or limes or anything like that. I hope everyone has a beautiful rest of your Saturday. We're going to go try and find another spot where there aren't any people.